Hello, hello, this is Caladoon playing Depths of Urkala, and I just did something extraordinarily dumb. So, I've been recording in 1.7.10, because that one with uh, Optifine ran best of anything on my computer, as far as I could tell. But I've also got a uh, series um, on a public server. Well, not public, but, you know, I've got, I've got a series on a server that's running on 1.8. And I just finished up recording an episode over there. And, well, opened up this world without switching back to 1.7.10. And because of the difference in how they handle the uh, NBT tags and the data structures, all of my items are gone. In fact, every single chest everywhere is now empty in the whole world. So, I will be back. Um, essentially, what I'm going to do is load up this world in MC Edit. I do have a backup, fortunately, of the newest version that Moldy Bread gave me, so that's good. I'm going to go and load this up in MC Edit. Copy over my architectural changes. And... Yeah, see what I can do from there. I'm going to, I think, reconstruct my inventory at the very least, or at least the non-trivial items, and pour, essentially I'm just going to pour over all my chests and try to give myself the most accurate representation of what I had beforehand. Um, I am going to err on the side of caution here. If I'm not, like, if I'm not 100% sure if I had, you know, 32 or 64 pieces of coal, I'm going to go with the lower one in all cases. So, yeah. Crap. I'm going to go open up MC Edit, and I'll see you in a few minutes. And we are back, having spent the last 45 minutes or so flying around in MC Edit, and... Taking stuff out. I made sure to just look at this area. I didn't fly through and look at anything else, of course. Um, but yeah, our chests are a lot emptier now. Um, these, frankly, I kind of ca you'll notice we're missing a bunch of wool. Actually, I don't know if we had s still three anvils left, so I'm going to toss that. Oops. Yeah, I just won't touch it. That'll work. Um, been just basically going through chests, getting rid of stuff. I have at the moment standard set of iron armor, some buckets. Um, the weapons that I got at the end of last episode, and I think I had more than a stack of arrows, but again, just saying a stack. Um, blocks, I didn't touch. Most of these are not that, excuse me, critical anyway. Food, food, I'm definitely down, like two stacks of bones, but basically this is from, uh, right after I beat Molten Mines is roughly when this time is. Picks, I think this is about right for that. I was a little low on, I was running out of lucky picks slowly. Maybe I'll get rid of one more just to be safe. Um, weapons, you'll notice these are all kind of crap. So, I'm going to leave those. Armor, likewise, kind of the same. Although I did for sure have the uh, Scorched chest plate still. So, I know I didn't use that. I tossed out about a little over half a stack of iron, I think. Just because I know I lost a set of iron gear. So, yeah, I think we're pretty much back where we were. Yeah, I still feel really stupid doing that. I'm definitely going to pay closer attention to the future. We have the records-ish, I guess. I'll have to double-check on the records, because I could have sworn we had... Maybe it's in there? No, nope, could have sworn we had six. But uh, Victory Monument is... No, the flowers are gone. Victory Monument is being invaded. And the signs are all broken. I'll make sure I fix that before we... Uh, yeah, I will definitely make sure that I fix... You know, let's just do the flowers right now. One, two... And, okay. Are there any other flowers around? No, those are all just the yellows. I was wondering if there was like any of the uh, the azure bluets or something like that. Those are probably some of my favorites, but I'm not seeing it. it looks like just yellow and red. I'm bad at jumping. Looks like just yellow and red. So, oh, and as penance, just because I felt stupid, I went and just got rid of all my levels. 
you know, I used some of them to enchant uh, these two, and then the rest I just did the uh, XP command to make them go away. So, I figured there had to at least be some additional consequence there. But, yeah. So, we're pretty much back where we are. Um, I don't think I'm going to build anything over at the egg quite yet, just because I don't have anything flashy enough, honestly. I need to gather some more glowstone, I think, before I... Glass, more glowstone, maybe more stone slabs, I don't know, but I need more... St I don't have the... My, my inventory is not stylish enough, I guess. Anyway, but speaking of that area, let's grab some blocks, actually, and then start heading over. Um, yeah. Like I said, def definitely gonna wait on that building. Let's use dirt for now. And I think I'm just gonna leave my base over here, frankly. Um, it's reasonably close, and again, I don't, I'm not inspired yet. I mean, it's an interesting place, um, because that is, without a doubt, the most unique intersection I've ever seen. But, as for the dungeons there, let's light the whale, so as we go, I'm gonna, since I'm not moving my base over there, I'm just gonna make a really clear, like, running path, I guess, just to get it back over there quickly in case I die. Um, now, traditionally, I've been going kind of, uh, yeah, I've been going counterclockwise around, but I think I'm going to break it this time and do and go do uh, uh, the Amazing Pink, just because, you know, a lot of people in the thread has, have said that that's been their favorite area, and from the little bit I saw, it looked amazing, so... As as befitting its name, I mean the amazing thing. Okay, so we'll do this and then. Oops. But yeah, so I think we'll do amazing pink first. I'm not sure where Starlight Jungle stands. I'll probably do kind of what I did with the the Forgotten Temple, where I'll kind of like do part of it first, just to get a gauge on whether I want to do it now or later. Um, just because, again, I, you know, at the moment, I have no idea what's in there, except a lot of trees. Although, I guess I could, uh, fix that pretty easily. But we'll see if it's necessary. Yeah. Guess I'll get some gravel, too. Uh, oh, and apparently my version is completely up to date. So, the, uh, it's apparently there's two rooms in the... Yeah, it sounds like there's like two rooms in the uh, in Into the Fire, and I just kind of looked at the first one, which is a, a bit minimalistic, certainly. Um, and then let's do this. So yeah, but it is up to date. Life is good. Oops. Um, uh, I'm one block off on the staircase to do that. Oh, well. Uh, oh, the death counter got reset when I did my stupid thing, so I went ahead and fixed that up. Um, still at seven deaths. But, yeah. I still can't believe I did that. And so, don't get me wrong, it's not the first time I've screwed up a map that way, but it's the only time I've ever done, I think, that something that stupid on a map that I've been LPing. Of course, give it time, because I've only been doing the, the Let's Play thing for about a month, I guess? Yeah, I guess it was about a month ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, first episode was start of October, so happy one month Let's Play anniversary. Uh, those of you who've been watching since the start, thanks for uh, sticking with me, and those of you who recently joined, um, well, I hope you continue to enjoy. Is it this way? New is it okay? Um, it's been so long, it almost feels like it's been like two weeks since I've been here. <laughs> now nah, I'm just being clueless and throwing torches for no reason, but yeah, so I'll definitely make sure to like, I guess, restart my computer just to be safe after I'd uh. After I record the uh, mostly harmless, and if you haven't seen those, uh, if you haven't watched those, by the way, they're they're pretty fun. It's a multiplayer server. Um, all, people are all pretty cool. I'm doing a whole mad sciency persona on it, frankly. Whoa. 
Hello. I'm basically doing a mad science persona. So the first thing that I'm building there, actually, instead of, you know, starting with a house, I'm just making an observatory. So it's looking pretty cool. Lots of redstone and andesite so far. It definitely, definitely stands out. You know, it's observatory, so you got to put it up on a hill. But it's fun. People are cool. There's some uh, automatic slime farms. I haven't done any collaborations yet, but I've talked to a bunch of the people, you know, hung out. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll get some more of those. I'd, I'd like to do some collaborations in general at some point. And we are here. Why am I putting a torch down? There's enough glowstone here. All right, this place in all its sparkly glory. Right. And like I said, I think we're going to start with the amazing pink. Let's get the gravel. All right. I will probably need more torches. We'll see. And yeah, there's that. Which, eh. All right. And let's go. I'm just going to, frankly, just start moving, lighting everything up. Whoa! Holy crap! So, um... Oh my god, that, that is a punch bow. That is like... that. That's not a punch bow. That is like the, the punch bow. Of, yeah. That is the punch bow to end all punch bows. Oh my god. Whew. Wow. Okay, I really, ho really, really hope that those guys drop their bows when they are killed. So, what I'm going to do now, let's take this a little more tactical now that we know what we're up against. I'm going to start counter-shooting, counter-sniping this guy. Man, that thing is crazy. Didn't drop anything besides the bones and the arrows, it looked like. Okay, and those are just fancy zombies, I believe. Wow. That is incredible. That's so... Okay, that is just brilliant. You know exactly when the enemies are spawning because of that. It's like, oh, cool. Fire fireworks. There's enemies. Brilliant. Well done, Waldy. I am... L this is a f really interesting area. That's something that I've, I've never seen mechanically in a Minecraft map before. Um, oh, speaking of talking about mechanics and stuff, I'm working on a Let's Analyze. It should be out either Sunday or Monday. Actually, whoa, whee. That's actually kind of dumb to say because I just realized this video will be out. Let's see, today's Saturday. I'm putting out another one. So this video, I think, will be out. Hopefully by now I've got the next uh, Let's Analyze out. Um... I'm thinking it's actually going to be about, like, l map structure specifically. So rather... Let me kill these guys and then I'll use words. Um, map structure. So the kind of... You know, the, why it makes a difference if we do, you know, linear branching versus open world. And the advantages and disadvantages of both, I guess. Alright, let's do this. Anywhere we're not going, we're just gonna bar up. Ah! Ouch. I wonder if it's spawning some of them. Because some mobs are definitely... Sp it sounds like spawning and then dying, so I wonder if some of the mobs are... Ah, uh, I love these guys. What are they dropping? Just... Oh, they're only dropping like one. Oop, hello. Yeah, they're only dropping like... Oh, man. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Okay, as much as I don't want to, I think I might have to break the spawners. Um, these guys are dangerous, and they seem to be appearing regardless of light level. Which is definitely interesting. I wonder if it's like spawning the fireworks with like them on top or something. Why am I... There we go. Um, let's make a 
lava dump slot, actually. Yep, let's do... Oops. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, I don't know exactly how he's doing it, but they're definitely spawning regardless of light level. Um, it's possible they're pigmen? I, no, they're, they're definitely zombies. I mean, we know that for sure. So I'm not sure what's what exactly is going on, but it's interesting. This place will definitely get its entire... Uh, uh, let's analyze the video entirely to itself. It's just too, too fascinating not to... Ooh, hello. I didn't hear fireworks. You're not supposed to be here if I don't hear fireworks. Not cool, bro. Ah, random explosions. Takes me back to my college days. Which weren't that long ago. I'm being mock nostalgic. Okay. And one thing I also... Oh, this is working well so far. I say before I'm sure I get murdered horribly. Is this a dead end? It's a dead end. Huh. Hello. Yeah, you're not that effective when I'm up against a wall, are you? Oh, you do drop stuff. Okay. Okay. Drop stuff which I'm being dumb and not picking up. Man, this the this area is just super stylish, though. Um, huh? And I really wish I knew exactly how he made these guys spawn, because I'm I'm not figuring it out. Whee. Oh, there's witches also, and I'm crap, 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 that was dumb. Wee. Keep moving and light it all up. Hello. Yes. Give me some locks. Oh, hello. Oh, their spawners are probably maybe in the walls. Maybe. I don't know. It's also possible that they're... Oh, that might be it. There might be like... The spawners might be inside the walls, and they're like riding the fireworks, possibly. I think I think that's something you can do. I know I saw in the uh, the complete the monument thread. I think it was Rubisk actually posted a. Oh, it's just dyed pants. That's it. But he posted a contraption where it was like um, I think it was snowballs riding like the uh, the end dragon crystal thingies, and he used that to like make uh, bridges collapse and. So it's probably a similar kind of trick. They show up on the fireworks. Fireworks can spawn at any light level. So they spawn at any light level. Get more torches out. And just keep running. Whee. Possibly, I don't know. This is all absolute conjecture. Hello. I love the gold swords also. It's just it's it's perfect for this area. It really is. Okay. I'm also glad I brought the smite sword. Uh yeah, I was definitely right on needing more torches. Although I also try to uh, usually light everything up when I play a map. Ooh, there's definitely explosives hidden around also. Oh, that might those might be the, uh, the those pressure plates that I saw earlier. Ooh, something else blew up. 
But yeah, I'm guessing it's mob stepping on pressure plates. Hello. Ah, you killed each other. And I killed you. Teamwork. Working together to murder mobs. And dead end. Okay. Let's go ahead and heal up for a second. Collect supplies. Shoot you in the face. That's all I can see. Well, I guess the face and the sword, but shoot you in the sword doesn't really doesn't really roll off the tongue, I gotta be honest. And from a distance, they've actually got really good camouflage. Hello. You spawned right there. You go and burn. Alright. So I don't think I've been here very long, but I also haven't been paying attention to the time. And I also realized that I may have, I may be hopelessly lost is a quite a valid possibility. Let's drop another torch over two over there. But yeah, I think once I've got this area a little more secured, this is going to be the place to gather blocks for the, you know, for the, for building anything at the egg, really. I mean, look at this. This is gaudy incarnate. So, definitely a cool area. I don't know if it's my favorite so far, though. I, unless there's some crazy gimmick waiting at the end. But, aesthetically, I love that, that trick. I'm Assuming they're riding the fireworks? I don't know. If you're watching this moldy, you should let me know. Or anyone else who's a little more skilled with the mechanics than I am. There we go. Whee. And, yeah. Okay, so this is just a dead end. Where the heck do I get out of here? All right, um, you know, I think I might uh, keep recording, try to figure out how to get out of here, and I'm going to go ahead and cut, on, oh, no, never, nope, never mind, this is probably the way out. This, uh, yeah, yeah, I think this is it. Wee, shit. Ow, ow, yep, it's inter see, something inter interesting is happening, aren't you glad I didn't cut? Oh, come on, don't dodge it. Go burn. Okay, it's only two. I can take two. Especially with the smite sword. Two, two shotting the mobs is nice. Hit you and keep moving. Yes, yes, I remember this part. No, don't shoot me. Eh, whatever. Give me a boost towards the exit. Still sad though. Those guys haven't dropped a bow. This place is over. Overall, this place is not a. Uh, yeah. Why? Well, yes, I will take some TNT. This place is not a, not a lot of loot. Aesthetics are amazing. Mobs are interesting. That knock. Yes, found the way out. That knockback bow especially is crazy. But uh, yeah, I'm a. Uh, now I will definitely go ahead and cut, and I'll see you in a few minutes. We need being back here. I'll probably repair this sword, and yeah, with some more torches. So, yeah. And we are back at the... No! Come back out. I was going to have an intro with dramatically staring you down. Hello. Anyway, we're back at the home with the sacred monument. I went ahead and swung, while we were running through the molten mines, I grabbed a bunch of coal and that. I grabbed some other iron out of the chest that I'm going to fix up the sword with. Let's see how many, that shouldn't take too many levels, I think. Uh, really? 20? Right, 1.710, I forgot stuff's expensive then. Uh, armor's doing pretty good. 
I think I'll leave armor as is. And oh, I've got the enchanting bottle, so that is very nice, actually. Got the TNT in there, too. But anyway, I think we're about time for this episode. So this has been Kaladoon playing Depths of Urkala and being stupid, and I will never load it in 1.8 again. So this is Kaladoon playing Depths of Urkala in Minecraft 1.7.10, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.